what we're going to be doing. We'll see how this works. How y'all doing today? This is Darby. And I'm going to be doing a reading. Hopefully it's going to go okay. We'll find out. But um, do let me know if you don't mind. Now, let's get down to business. This is a new post I just made. And it's actually about, um, is there a book, a path, a way for us to maximize our power as humans? The age-old question for secret societies has pretty much been, is there a book I can follow? Is there a secret I can get my hands on? Now, there's been a lot of books published to say, I've got the secret. Pay me. I'll give it to you. Well, I don't believe in that. I think if it's that good of a secret, it's going to help save the world. Everybody should share it for free. So, here we go. Do you think there is a single path? There is a fate. Is there also free will? Are we, all the eyes together, to create the future of mankind and earth, just realizing, in other words, materializing what will be our future, already written. That's what we came to materialize. Now that supposes, of course, that you're one of the light brigade, one of the people who came to do something with your life, positive, to be a beacon in the darkness, a light. A wisdom that others can look to, perhaps, in these times. Use your superpowers. What are they? A bookcase in a tiny home that sustains a healthy heart. A story you can tell the kids that lifts them up at night. A path that you could light for them to travel on one day as they choose to build a life of their own and perhaps move far away. What do we offer to them as the world looks so glum that it will give them hope and reasons to live on and thrive again? I say it is the faith in the books of God that some will bring to give them strength, provide them hope, and many other things. What language or what God will bond the masses to one cause without the warring factions who believe or deceive for all the wrong reasons? Time a calling. And signs no one can deny will soon appear to show how a quantum story manifests. And a book can change the course of the world. As if by a miracle. A fantasy. See nothing. Well, welcome back. We had a small problem with all the solar flares. But luckily it happened near the end. And the last question was time. A calling. And signs no one can deny will soon appear to show how a quantum story in a book can change the course of the world as if by a miracle. Unfurls. What is a fantasy to you? A peaceful world, no war? A home, food, family? Natural sorts of things to make you happy. Hello! A glimpse into the life in the world of Darby Lettick. As he began the journey of life, seemingly in hell on earth. In pain of all sorts, alone, suicidal. Why stay in a world that keeps beating you down? This critical question confronts many kids and adults of today as they take the journey of life from beginning to end. Some short, some long. Heroes are born and develop amidst the demons and evil adversaries that are intended to counter the challenge goal 
that can literally lead you through life. Your passion's driving you in the belly, chaos in the mind. What do you do with that chance to be a warrior in the end? Know you came into this life to fulfill a goal and more to be a part of a bigger future and goal. We all came as one, a group. The plan was made and now enacted, realized by us, who came to create a future only some of us can see. Some will play the heroes without knowing that's their role, but the years that pass will expose at last the best of memories to unfold. Why are you here? And what is clear? The way for us to see the visions that so many have that we believe must be. Join in the creation of the light that leads the way to creating dreams while awake. Daydreaming all the way, join us in traveling from times both past and fore so that we can help create the paradise that is in store. Yes, paradise is in store ahead of us. This is not speculation through times imply we lose, it seems. It looks like that, but we, all the eyes working together. That's different. Why are you here? What will be clear? Join in the creation of the light that leads the way to creating dreams while wide awake. Daydreaming all the way. Join us in traveling from time is both past and fore. Time is in your head. You go back, you can fix things inside of you. Stay in the present, and you can fix the present to some degree. But hindsight and being in the present isn't going to take us to where we have to go. Foresight. Are you exercising your foresight? The ability to see into the future because you're not paying all the attention to the past using a little rear view mirror. And you're not paying attention to the side of the road as you fly forward or you'll get in a wreck. You pay attention to the future to the goal, to the objective. Glance in your mirrors. You can see the past, the hindsight, all the lessons, that's a glance. You don't have to stay absorbed in the past. Get your foresight tuned up. It's called perspicuity. The acuity of your perspective looking forward at the moment you see the door of opportunity open. You'll have time to get through. Otherwise, if you're distracted, you'll miss the door. Sad, but true. So, it's important. The time has come when Darby, who saw our planet and the changes ahead, a transition into cosmic wonders, the disclosure of our age. It's the other beings, you see, not just us. Alas, you are able to handle being aware of other sentient beings that share our planet with us, preceded us. We've been here a long time. How do you explain the angels and the warriors of the light brigades? But for the calling to flame on, they cannot resist as the memory for why they came comes into view. Deja vu. To you, my friend. Engage memory why, when, and what we will become. Why now? Now is the time. Those who came know. And it isn't that knowing that we can do. Hey, help transform the view that man is all that matters on lands and in the seas, for truly other beings have rights, other sentient beings, emotions, communication through mind to mind, 
singing songs like whales. Just because they do not speak human does not mean they are not worthy of rights. They share our planet, and we must respect them. There are four ways to communicate. One of them is telepathy, mind to mind. One of them is through touch. One of them is through the things I speak right now. The ideas manifested out of my spirit through words, music, pictures, videos, what I create. And then I get on the web and I webble. I communicate through keys in the internet. This is what we have to work with. And this is what the language of wibblery is about. Those few words that describe weblock, a bond of souls, of spirits, life after life, reincarnation, with a plan. Yeah. Some of you know what I mean. Let me read forward. What will your secret compartment of your mind show you next as you find it is there? With a purpose behind every word, every text, every page. Not coincidence. A purpose. Synchronicity with perspicuity, and you can finally pass the test. See with the eyes, not only the ones in your head, but the ones in your mind, your spiritual eye. Use your foresight instead of hindsight, or being in the moment of distraction. A disruption you don't need. You are the example of an I with identities that change. Make yourself the best identity that you can create. It's important. important. Look ahead. Glance in the front and the side mirrors. Focus on the miracles you came to manifest. These are those times again when we, all of the eyes, join together to create a world union of beings who realize, in other words, materialize reality with our actions every day to form the future, the tomorrow that everybody talks about day. These are those times when Wubbers, all the people that believe in Wub, a world union of beings, a common energy of soul, of spirit, the one that when we look behind us, we are made of that. When we look out in front of us with our eyes, we see the many manifestations of that source, energy, that is materializing realizing the future through us. As Jesus said, you are the light. If you keep looking for the light as you're walking down the center path, the light will keep distracting you off the path. Look inside. You know it. You feel it. Feel the good. Feel what you can do. You've got the message. Same as Jesus said. Same as many others. Buddha. Muhammad. He didn't say go out and kill everybody. He said, let's go out and make the place a better world for seven generations to come. This is part of what I'm trying to go ahead and share as I write the book of Wibblery and Wub and put it to print after 50 years. Drawings and cartoons about a little tiny earthworm that comes to Earth and then as an avatar to visit Darby and tell him what his purpose is. And then we grow up one day. Would you believe we reach our peak? Our best years are 66 to 78 as a male. Wow. You get to be a kid again. Superman. Da -da -da. And it's true. You got to come down and visit sometime. I'll show you some tricks. Once unleashed, the lights and spirits are damaged by the toxic things that we, as humans, have consumed to learn that nature is truth. Stop the madness. 
resist the temptations. Let us grow by sharing what we have become and what we have come to know. Stop the wars by showing all there is. No need for we, all of the eyes, to fight amongst us. We share a common goal, peace. There are some who do not. Do you want to be a part, a part of solving it all? I do. That's why I'm here. I chose to be one of those people that came to solve it. I suspect maybe you did too. What do you think? How about if we go backwards in time? Do you remember being a child? Do you remember having dreams? Do you remember having a purpose? Something you wanted to do one day? I did. I really did. And part of what we're going to talk about is what you can do. If you unleash that light, that dream, that purpose, why are you here? Join me in the rush to share what you can do. The loss of billions who live now, slated for the next few years, not much I can do. They shouldn't take, drugs they shouldn't take. Destroyed the vessel. Only they can clean it up. Only they can change their ways. All we can do is offer guidance and light. How many will do that? Join me in the rush to share the world. Hey, let us grow an organization globally without any more than cyber space to bond it together. Let us grow by sharing what we have come to know, we, all the eyes. Stop the wars by showing all there is to keep the peace, to make us healthy, to cure disease, to supply practically free energy. All that's at our fingertips. There is no need that we cannot overcome at the moment. We can grow food. We can cure cancer. We have been called. We have been asked to share our knowledge, our skills. And in return, we are gifted. Potentially, with the youth, energy, longevity, and giving, we receive in return. Gifts you can't imagine. Great leaders will use the stars and the cycle, the natural clocks of time that forewarn of eclipses, cycles, and powers that we, humans, and other sentient beings cannot control, like the sun and the cosmos and the forces that move across our planet and affect them. Still, there is a power, one you can't see, one we can all tap, invisible as it is. It is that power that I'm calling out to. Call it any name or religion you wish. Pay attention to your gut, to your heart, to your brain. Use your eyes to see, but the third eye to perceive the truths. Peaceful living can exist, but we, all the eyes, must remove the greedy kids on the block, the ones in the world. Time for transparency, for whistleblowers to be heroes. It's time that if one... Well, this is the seventh time it's gone down, but sorry if this bothers you, somebody, anybody. But I choose to wipe out human trafficking to wipe out drug trafficking, to wipe out profiting from this horrible, horrible concept that you can steal the lives of others for profit, that you can steal the resources of the planet for very few to profit while everybody else suffers from the pollution and things like that. So we, all of the world getting together, exposing it in transparency, having tribunals, clearing out the swamp around the globe, and peace can follow. 
Stand up for the rights and honor truth. Don't let people bother you. It's true. Feel the calling and the strength to let you do what will come next. The past is not lost, and the present is changing, but the future, we, all of us, are arranging, and it could make paradise come true on earth to those who remain, those who choose to take care of their vessels, to honor life and to gain a foothold so that we can teach others, the children. It's true, while we cannot change some things that will be, other things that most can't see can also be. The darkness, light. We, the light brigade, the elders, the wise, those of us who took on the challenges with gusto so we could learn. What do we do when these times come? What drove us? Fate means you're watching this. You're one of those who came to be a solution. No matter how many times they cut me off and pause me, I'm going to finish this. Stand up for your rights. Honor truth. A chance for the coming use to have the hope, the means, and the will to do what must be done to fill the gaps ahead. Soon, the world will require things that the children are not being taught. We, all the eyes in the whole world, who form a union of beings, have a chance to fix that. Now that you know the reason for the... Our time has come. I want you to believe, if you are one of those light beings, our time has come. Have faith. Flame on. Be the light in the darkness. Speak up. Now is the time. We came to take on the world. Is this real? Is it a fantasy? Yeah. Until it becomes a reality, it's kind of like a conspiracy. Until you prove it's true. There are people that are never going to believe. I believe. I have faith. I live my life for this cause. I'm going to tell Darby's story. I know you may too. Please share. Please. Get a subscription on tinytexashouses.substack.com for free. Read millions of words about how you can be free. Live a pure, salvage, living, natural, toxin-free, import-free life. And one day, Maybe you get to come visit Salvage, Texas. We have a B&B, &B, and hopefully soon we'll have some more seminars to teach you how to build some of these beautiful houses I'm trying to show you are possible. Examples, never repeated, not a model, not meant to make a million of the same thing, but to teach you how to go ahead and create what you need to create an intentional community and a future for all those kids being born right now that didn't get aborted, that have a chance to bring their incredible spirit, energy, and the solutions and leaders of tomorrow. Let's make a place that they can come to, villages and places where we can teach them. And please, love them and care for them. I'm going to sign off and see what happened. I do hope this recorded, because honestly, folks, this is the most important thing I